All right, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome back. We've got more cornerbacks to look at here. I promise it's almost done. I promise we are in the home stretch. Just three more videos today, and we're back on cleanup duty. But uh, got to get through these videos first. Got to get through these prospects first. And our first guy in this video is going to be Johnny Dixon of Penn State, another Penn State corner, 23 years old when the season starts, 5'11", 188, so a little bit small, but not crucially so. so, so. But um, short arms, very short arms, some of the shortest arms in this class, 29 and a half. That's almost disqualifying. That's hard to get around. Eight and five eighths inch hands, big boards, put him in the sixth or seventh. Except for Walter Football, they love him and put him in the second round somehow, which feels like it has to be a mistake, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this one, but there it is. Um, the database puts him 177th, so that's right around the 5th or 6th. Um, two years of production that are interesting. Namely because he has 7.5 sacks. He is a really, really good blitzer. And he gets results with his blitzes. We're not talking about pressures. We're not talking about, oh, he breathed on the quarterback. No, he actually brought the quarterback down. So that's actually kind of his claim to fame here. Now, he does have three interceptions and 13 passes defensed over the last two years, which is pretty good. Ball production's there as well. But these sacks are going to give people pause. We had some edge rushers we looked at that didn't put up these numbers. He almost has, has as many sacks over the last two years as Chop Robinson. And they're both on the same team, by the way, if you didn't understand the connection there. But the point I'm making is that this guy's special on the blitz. He's got twitchy movement skills, good deal of explosion. I know he didn't test, but he is a good athlete overall. And he has awareness to do well when he hangs in zone. You put him in zone, let him read the play, let him read routes. He's going to make the right call most of the time. And he's also got short area quickness so he can hang in man. He can keep up with guys running their route. He can react to the way the receiver moves and stick with him so he offers that versatility and he's fast in a straight line he's got pretty decent speed so there's a lot of stuff that is appealing here he's a really good athlete and he's bringing rare competency on the blitz so what what's the other shoe what's the downside he's a little small there's no way he's going to be able to play outside with 29 and a half inch arms he's definitely going to have to play in the slot so that takes away a lot of his value right there. Slot corners matter, but when you can only play slot, it hurts. He is another guy who will grab and hold when he gets beat. When he loses technique, when he loses coverage, he just starts grabbing and he's going to get flagged. Physically, he's just not very strong. He's a weaker guy. Uh, he's not going to outmuscle anybody. He's not going to be able to be a very reliable tackler because he's not strong and because he has short arms so don't expect him to be good in run support don't expect him to be a good tackler so i am intrigued even though i doubt mike mcdonald is because he doesn't tackle he's too small too short armed and can't tackle so i'm assuming that mcdonald's not interested but i do have an appreciation for him probably being the best blitzing corner in this class and someone who has decent ball skills as well. So I'd say sixth rounder. Too many question marks for me to go higher than that. And I wish he was just, you know, the same guy in a different person's body. You give him 31-inch arms, and I feel like I've got something here. But 29-and-a-half-inch arms, I don't. So interesting player, but can't really call him a good prospect at this point. All right, uh, next guy is going to be DeCamerian, uh, DeCamerian Richardson. DeCamerian Richardson of Mississippi State, the Bulldogs, 23, 6'2", 188 pounds, so a little lanky, but he's got good size overall, and he's got pretty long arms, 32 and 3 eighths, 8 and uh, 7 eighth hands. Tested really well on the 40, had a big 40, 4 3 4, 1 4 8, 10 yard split. Big broad, not a very good vert for whatever we take that from, but overall, the testing was pretty good. Big boards, uh, ESPN puts him in the 5th, CBS puts him in the 7th, database puts him in the late 5th or early 6th. Ton of tackles over the last two years, that's one thing that really stands out here. Over the last two years, he has more tackles than some linebackers, 164. 
but only 10 passes defensed and zero interceptions. So kind of a weird player here, really. Uh, good PFF grade last year, 86.4, but kind of a weird profile here. So <clears throat> he's big and he's long, so he's going to be able to make a play on the ball that most players wouldn't be able to make. He's going to be able to get his hand in there and bat it away or make a play on it when most people couldn't because they're not this long and tall. His straight line speed and acceleration is excellent. You're not going to get behind this guy, and you're going to have a hard time building separation on him if it's just about pure speed because he's just so fast. He's also a really good tackler, and he's fundamentally strong in that area. So he is a somebody you can count on in run support. He's really good in how he attacks run plays. He doesn't allow outside leverage. He doesn't give up the corner. He attacks run plays the way they need to be attacked. And he's somebody who can get beat in coverage and then get back in the play because he's just so fast. He's, he's good at that kind of stuff too. You could even say he's bit, he can bait quarterbacks a little bit. Now, the short area quickness and change of direction isn't there. So it is going to be a little bit hard for him to be good in man because while he can stick with people, he's not going to be able to hang with them once they start running more complex routes and he doesn't have the reactive athleticism to stick with a guy running a route. His transitions are segmented like when he flips his hips. It just doesn't look like he's comfortable. So a lot of the value of his straight line speed is dented a little bit. And he doesn't have the football IQ to diagnose plays the way you would like a zone corner to. You want your zone corner to be able to make reads and diagnose a play and then react to that read, but he's not really there yet. It generally feels like he's raw, and I don't know what he's going to be good at in the NFL. Like, I don't think he has the reactive athleticism to be good in man, but he doesn't have the awareness to be good in zone yet. So he needs to find something that he's good at, because right now he's just a really fast guy who makes a lot of tackles and can tackle well, but what kind of defense are you a fit for? I, I don't know. He's 23, he's been starting for a little while, and I still don't know. So once you dig into his game, he's a lot less appealing, but I can't deny the speed. There is something here. I just don't know what exactly. So I think taking him in the fourth round to develop him would be an okay risk. So... That that seems a little that might seem a little bit high with everything I just said, but you're talking about a guy with remarkable speed, acceleration, explosiveness. He's tall. He's got long arms. Like he's a good tackler. Like like all the tools are here. It's just he needs to put it together. So it'd be an okay risk in the fourth. I'm more fifth round with him to be perfectly honest, but I can see why somebody might value him beyond that. So, tough one to really piece together here. I, uh, I, this one I just don't know. Uh, like, how can you possibly not take this guy in the first 150 or so picks with this talent? I don't know. That one's tough to process for me. Last guy for this video is DeAndre Prince of Mississippi. Ole Miss, 23 years old, 6 feet tall, 183 pounds, little undersized. 30 and a three quarters arms, eight and a half hands. So overall, he does lack a little bit in that department. He does not lack in the speed department. He's fast and he's quick to accelerate. Didn't have a good vert, did have a pretty decent broad jump though. So there's some pretty good athleticism here. Some stuff to note. EFF has him undrafted. CBS has him in the approximate early sixth. ESPN has him in the fifth. Database puts him in the late sixth, early seventh. Uh, last two years, pretty decent production. Couple of picks, 16 passes defensed. Um, 70, what was it, 75 tackles? So, some pretty decent production for Mississippi. He's not afraid to come up and support the run. Pretty good in that regard. No questioning his ability and effort in run support. He's good at waiting in zone for the play to develop. He's pretty good at being able to... Uh, monitor things, watch the play, and then go make a play based on his read. He's good at the catch point. He's aggressive at swiping at the receiver's hands and raking it through to dislodge the ball. And his speed and acceleration just stand out, and it feels like there's always going to be a place for a guy this fast who accelerates this quickly. Now, his press is inconsistent, although I don't know if that matters when his arms are this short. He's not going to be asked to press very much anyway. He's overly aggressive when chasing the ball carrier and ends up out of position. While he is willing 
to support the run, he does get a little over-aggressive. He gives up a lot of cushion and allows easy separation, which he doesn't need to do because he has such good speed. So the big cushion he allows is a little bit questionable to me. Maybe he doesn't totally trust his uh, ability to uh, have the change of direction skills you need to hang tight in man. Um, his instincts haven't fully developed yet either. I don't think he reads plays quite the way that you want. I don't think he makes the correct read all that often. But um, who knows if it's ever going to get there. You never know with these guys. So the speed is definitely worth something. But there is a lot of improvement this guy needs to make. He's very raw for a guy who started for a few years for Mississippi. So while I like the speed, kind of like the last guy we talked about, right? That guy was speed, but that guy was also a really good tackler. He was big. He was long. This guy doesn't have those things. So I think seventh rounder on this one. I'm much more down on this one because he's even more raw, I think. It's more of a question mark as to what he's going to be in the NFL. And he doesn't have all the positive traits. So, yeah, seventh round pick for me. All right, that's it for this video. See you guys later. Go Hawks. Um, getting tough to evaluate guys at this point, but I'm doing what I can. So, see you guys soon.